Hey guys, welcome back to Spyro the Dragon, and let's... Oh, no, what did I do? What a great way to start off the level by having a suicide bomb. Yeah, that was just perfect. I seem... Ah, okay. I had turned off my analog. But it is back now. I was like, why am I not... Why am I not moving? I'm just stuck here. Yeah, anyway, um... Oh! Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, per apparently we're going to be cliff diving in cliff down, so... Yeah, alright. I got to get the gems over on these corners. And hopefully the rest of this video, this part, will be... <laughs> Played with a little more skill than, you know, jumping off the cliff twice, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, in Cliff Town, this is actually quite a unique level. You'll be doing lots of, uh. Oh, already came out. You'll be doing lots of climbing on these buildings to get to high places. So. Also, as you saw, if you flame these, you'll heat them up and it will spit out a gem for you. Yep. And as you hear, we have a egg, f egg thief somewhere. Oh. If I could hit these knife-wielding... I don't know what they are. Oh, there we have our egg thief. This one seems easy, he's just... I'm missing him, but he is running quite slowly. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I played... I did the last few levels so well, and now I'm sucking it up. Hey, right. Let's free this dragon now. We'll free Halvar. Odd name. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. That it does, unless they're a big enemy. Unless they eat a little too many cupcakes. In which case, you have to figure out some other way to take them out. So. Alright. Um, oh. Almost jumped off the edge there. Got some treasure chests here. Treasure, trash, 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 treasure chests. All right, jump on over here. And you see that little firework up there? We're going to be flaming it, and it's going to go in the odd directions, and it's going to break that container. So now we can get the gems that are inside. Can't reach those chests. We have to climb up this wall. Get up there. Need some more money. As all, we love the money. Oh, camera angle there. Oh, yeah, you tried to shank me, right? I'll take you out. You, you're an abusive lady. Smacking all, smacking around all those. I don't know. <laughs> don't know what exactly they are. Some kind of monsters. Oh no, car fail. Eh, back to the top we go. At least it wasn't a far drop. I mean, oh. <sighs> fail number two. Um. Oh man, I don't know what my problem is. I am playing horribly right now. <laughs> Alright. Probably because I'm rushing. Don't know why I'm rushing. I just have... It's how I play. How I play this game. I rush. It makes me do stupid stuff, but... Hey, at least it keeps... It's like, it's like I want to play Sonic or something, because you can just run as fast as you can through the levels and hope you don't die. 
kept this day in Sonic, it is Spyro. Alright. Now, the big secret, quote unquote, of this level. I think he'll tell us. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Alright, I will. So we glide over to this and we have a new area to look to explore. And it has gems and it has cacti. And it has vultures as you saw. It also has these weird metal spiky things, which I guess are force fields because we can't go past them. I'm assuming Nasty Nork has something to do with that. Oh, Nasty Nork, you're so nasty. And you're Nork. I don't even- I don't know what a Nork is, but... It's like a... It's like a gnarly orc. I'm guessing that's what it is. If I had to wager a guess, at least. That's what I would think it would be. Collect more. As you notice, um, we're getting close to passing another 100, and there is always an even number of money. And see, we just passed it, so we've been everywhere, other than on the couple of rooftops that we saw money. So, is there really going to be that much money and all that? Well, you've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. I would you. I'd use that whirlwind there. Yes, um now that we're up here, a whirlwind here will <coughs> transport us back to the top whenever we fall to the ground. So that's a good thing to know. And now that we're at the tall the highest point in Cliff Town, we can use it to get all these treasures that we're Escaping our grasp earlier. And we all have a couple yellow ones. Fly back up to the top and we'll fly again. Over here this time. Let's go to the side so we know 100% we get it in. But this was the part that would always throw me off. Okay, we're still stuck at 355. And I missed some gems somewhere else, but there's a. This is the big thing that took me forever to find out. Let's glide. Oh, but what is this? We have a lot of money. That purple, those purple gems are worth fifty, I believe. So now we're not missing quite as much. I. Blanking out on just where it, the last ones are, but it's somewhere around these little. Oh, there's some. Okay, so now we're only missing ten. Like I, I was gonna say, I thought we'd only be missing one gem, if anything. And sure enough, missing one gem. So it's a yellow gem, so that means it's in a chest somewhere. And now that we've reached the top over here, the whirlwinds are here as well. But I'm just taking the scenic route just in case I missed anything while I was up here. Yep. Stop lagging. Thank you. Alright. Did I miss a chest up here? Nope. Must have missed a chest across the river. So, back across the river we go. I don't remember any tin gems being up here, though. You know, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna be like... It's gonna be like... You... It's gonna be like... Yeah. I'm gonna know where it is, and it's gonna be annoying. Oh! Oh, 
No, and it's probably more than a 10 gem. It's actually probably two blue gems hiding somewhere. Like inside that building. Oh. Usually don't have a problem finding all the gems in this level, and it's just with all this treasure, you're you're bound to forget about a couple of them. Where I forgot them, anybody, nobody can know. They don't look like they're on the field though, because there's no glitter. Oh, I saw a glimmer. Oh, there they are. All right, and now we have 400 out of 400. All right, took a bit longer than we thought. I thought it would, but whatever. Let's return home now. Returning home now. I guess I can go ahead and go to the next world. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to complete this one. This one's actually rather long, or not long long, but longer than the other ones. But it is one of my favorite levels, actually, so. <laughs> and actually, we could get to the uh, end right away if we wanted to, but... Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. This is what I always do. I glide back here and we get three free lives and right over there is the exit portal play thing so we're gonna basically go through this entire level backwards just because we can but I'll, and there's another free life so yeah right there's the exit and we have completely pretty much skipped the entire level What's the fun thing about the level? Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> no problem, you old fool. Oh, somebody's throwing snowballs. You don't want to get a snowball in the face. Come on. You die. <laughs> now we gotta do a little bit of platforming here to get these gems. And Okay. We got big guys in armor. So, big guys in armor on ice equals hilarious way to die. Uh, at least if it's not you. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody else wants to really die. It's just, it'd be funny for other people, you know? It's like, haha! But thankfully, they throw out their gems because... You know, that's totally what I would do, is if I was dying, I would uh, throw my gems. Alright, now we got gems on top of these things. Oh, so we have to ram them. And they drop us some gems. Oh, and I died. Yep, I died. Oh. You fool. Don't mess with Spyro, man. Alright, these guys come back, but, you know, I've already got their money, so all they're gonna give us is the orbs, and I'm not too worried about lives. I mean, they're helpful, but... They're not. I won't be... I don't think I'll be having a game over. I hope I won't be having a game over. I mean, I don't think I've had a game over on Spyro in for freaking ever. Game does get to its hard points, but it's never five million tries hard. Hey, buddy, give me your gem. Thank you. Hey, baddie, give me your butterfly. Oh yeah, when he's flying around with the butterflies, he can't grab gems for you. So I guess that's the, that's the annoying part of killing him. <laughs> Ragnarok. You've I done mean, well, Ragnarok. Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Suck up. Ready for what? All right, let's get another butterfly. Oh, guess we're gonna get two. Now we're back in the <clears throat> building that we landed in earlier, and now we can continue 
on this backwards level path thingy. Oh, oh, there we go. Gem, gem, gem. Yeah, I knew I was gonna pass those up if I, I was like, I passed something. And I was right. It was just one of those feelings. But, uh, I'm out of time, so I'm gonna have to finish up this level next time, so uh, thanks for watching.